What's up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you PC players how to jump bridge. I actually did a tutorial on this for controller players, but it seems a lot of you apparently are also on PC and want to learn how. So this tutorial is made specifically for you. If you aren't a PC player and are a controller player and want to learn how to do this bridge, uh, check out that little icon in the top right. I will leave the video there. So before this starts, I want to quickly uh, show off some proof that this bridge is completely vanilla. It can only be done in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, meaning for uh, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, Windows 10, and I guess mobile actually can't jump bridge. But yeah, it's in the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft, not Java Edition. Anyways, to quickly show you that I am in completely vanilla Minecraft, I'm going to be going down to the global resources. As you can see, we have absolutely nothing open. Uh, even in behavior packs, we have nothing there. So this is completely vanilla Minecraft. These bridges can be done in either creative mode or survival mode. One of the only reasons this might not work on public servers is because you're lagging a bit too much. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right to the tutorial. So I'm going to be showing you four easy methods on how to jump bridge. Uh, I'm going to be doing all of those bridges twice. The first time I'm just going to be talking about it and showing you. The second time I will have visual keybinds to show you exactly what buttons I am pressing and holding to do this bridge. Alright, so let's move on to the very first bridge. This is the most simple and easiest jump bridge to do. All you need to do is make sure you have at least two blocks in front of you before let's say maybe the void or something or I don't know a, a gap. You're going to want to have two blocks in front of you like this. You're going to want to look straight down jump and place a block beneath you just like that now all you're gonna do here is make sure when you're doing these jump bridges you remember that you do not have to click you only have to hold so hold your place button down and then all you have to do is start walking forward and just like that the bridge is started then you can sprint you can jump you can even spin you can do whatever you want as long as you do not let go of the build button you will always be able to continue doing this bridge Alright, so I'm going to be doing this bridge one more time, but this time with some keybinds to show you exactly what buttons I'm pressing to make it a bit easier for you guys to understand. I am using the default keybinds, such as W, A, S, and D. I'm using left mouse button to hit or attack and right mouse button for building. The only thing I have changed is my run key is shift instead of control. So when you see shift on the screen, it actually means run. And there you go, it's as easy as that. Let's move on to our second bridge. For the second bridge, you actually do not need any blocks in front of you to start. In fact, it's a lot easier to be done if there's no blocks anywhere near you except for this one block that you're standing on. So if you want to see something funny, in Bedrock Edition, when you point at a block, you can see that it has a slight outline. You can see at the very top there. Now, if you were to look straight out and slowly go down and slowly try and look down at the block that you're standing on, you'll see that right there, the block that I'm standing on is actually being highlighted even though I'm not looking at it. This is because in Bedrock Edition, you can actually place blocks in front of you like this. Now that that's cleared out of the way, you can understand how to start this bridge. When you see that the bridge is highlighted like this, you know you can start doing this bridge. So, uh, look straight out then look down and get it so that it's highlighted and when it's once it's highlighted like that you know the bridge is ready to be started once you've gotten to this step all you need to do is you're gonna hold the place button and flick your head down and move forward onto that block really fast like this and as you can see it placed a block in front of the block I'm already hold uh, staring at and this is how you know the bridge is started once the block places like that you know you're ready to start jump bridging I'll do it one more time just so you guys understand it a bit better. So look down, get it highlighted, there we go. Then you're going to hold the place button and start walking forward and make sure to look straight down, just like that, and there you go. As easy and simple as that. Alright, so since this one's a bit harder to explain, I will be using the visual keybinds the second time. So, yeah, uh, here you go. And that right there is the second bridge. See? It's not that hard to do at all. 
All right, moving on to the third bridge. This is the bridge I use almost all the time. This bridge does not need any kind of startup at all. I always love using this bridge when I'm either running away or I'm trying to get to somewhere extremely fast. For this bridge, you're going to need uh, either one or two blocks in front of you. It's easiest when you're looking two blocks in front of you. So one, two, just like that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna act as if you're going to jump to this third, to this third block right here like this, except while you jump there, you're going to place a block. So act as if you place the block and you want to jump onto that block that's two blocks in front of you, like that. But rather than letting go once you jump on it, all you're going to do is continue holding it, keep running and jumping, and make sure to look down. So uh, once you place the block, don't keep looking forward, make sure you flick your head down. So here you go, I'm going to jump onto the block, flick my head down, and continue running and jumping. Just like that. Alright, one more time. And again. Just like that. Alright, now for the visual keybinds to make sure you guys do understand it a little bit better since I am not the best at explaining. And there you have it, there is your third easy bridge. I find this bridge super easy to use. Let's say somebody's chasing me from behind and I want to get away, but oh no, that seems to be the edge of the base. All you need to do is just flick it up and you can run like that. All right, so here we are on the fourth and final easy bridge to do. This one's a bit harder to do, but it can be pretty useful. So this bridge is almost exactly like the first bridge we saw, except there's gonna be absolutely no start. So all you need is one block like this, you need to stare straight down at that block, then all you're gonna do is you're gonna act as if you're gonna jump and place that block again and continue walking, like that. So the easiest way to for me to explain this bridge is basically you're gonna jump up and place a block, and right as you place the block, you're going to also hold uh, your running and jumping button, so W, shift, and space. So press spacebar, place one, and just as you place it, you're also going to want to sprint, like that. And continue holding and looking down. Just like that. There we go. Just like that. Alright, so this one's actually extremely hard for me to explain, so here, j just take the visual keybinds. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the four easy-to-do bridges in Minecraft Bedrock Edition for PC or mouse and keyboard. If you guys did find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to smash like and subscribe for some more epic tutorials or gameplay and stuff. I hope to see, to see all of you again in the next video or live stream or whatever. Make sure to share this with all your friends who also want to learn how to jump bridge because this is a, basically a necessary skill if you're going to be playing Bedrock Edition on PC. So yeah, that's it for me. Goodbye!